Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Permaculture Perspectives. In this episode, I want to share with you guys something really, really exciting that's happening in my hometown of Kelowna, British Columbia. Um, and whether you're located there or not, I think this might be interesting to you if you've ever wanted to host or facilitate a permaculture course of some sort. So I've been living in Kelowna for um, close to two years now. And shortly after I got here, um, my husband and I started a meetup group where we uh, would meet up and talk about permaculture once a month. And it's been going really great. But we've been feeling lately like it's time to maybe step it up a little bit and offer something that's a little bit more um, sort of formal and concrete and something where people can walk away with a permaculture design at the end of the experience. So logically, this translates to facilitating a permaculture design certificate course. And I'm really excited about this one because we're really focusing on the community aspect of this one. So if you're interested in attending the course or if you're ever interested in designing your own course, um, this could be one potential way of kind of um, forming a baseline for the course because if you ground it in community then it's going to be valid and relevant for anyone who attends whether they're a landowner whether they live in a condo you know whether they have a lot of resources at their disposal or not so the reason why we decided to name this course the Kelowna community pdc is because we wanted uh, the aspect of community to sort of permeate throughout the course and one way that that's going to happen is that we are actually uh, collaborating with a local middle, middle school to um, design or rather to implement a permaculture design in their garden space. So we're going to be working with the staff of the school to actually, you know, do one full day of hands on um, permaculture application in their garden. And I think it's a really great way to kind of just see how, you know, one day's work with dedicated individuals can result in this awesome project being implemented. Um, and, you know, just kind of hearing the story and hearing all of the different contextual factors of what was important when considering and developing their design. Another way that this is going to be a community permaculture design certificate course is that we have recruited community members to teach in the course. So um, I've been studying permaculture for quite a while, but I still have some significant gaps in my knowledge. So um, I wanted to sort of round out that knowledge with local people who have more experience than I do in certain aspects. So we've got a local landscape designer, we have a civil engineer, we have someone who's been running a really successful um, market garden that was designed according to permaculture principles, and we have uh, one of our teachers who's going to be teaching all about zero waste. And so I think this is going to be a really cool um, teachers community in the sense that, you know, we're all bringing our sort of different perspectives and different approaches to permaculture topics um, to this course and you know because there's all different kinds of learners that attend PDCs and some PDCs they kind of go with you know one modality of learning and I find that um, that can be difficult because some people learn better hands-on some people like to sort of sit back and listen um, some people really enjoy talking through what they're learning and some people learn better through group work so um, we're going to be doing our best to sort of incorporate all of those different learning modalities into the course to make it sort of relevant and hands-on for everyone. So another way that we're incorporating the community element into the design of this course is to make it really accessible. And so beyond the fact that it's priced quite affordably, um, once we reach a quota of eight people signing up at the regular price, we're actually going to open up two scholarship posi positions for uh, low income individuals to be able to access the course. And um, the fee for them will only be the sort of materials and certification fee of around $100. So we're hoping that we'll be able to reach um, the eight signups by the end of the month. And that would allow us to A, know that the course is a go, and B, open up those scholarship positions for people who might not be able to access um, 
a formal permaculture education otherwise. Another way that we kind of decided to structure the course was to make it accessible for people who do work full time and can't really afford to take like two or three weeks off to do an intensive course. So um, we're just running it once a week uh, for about five hours. So the time commitment per week is not huge. However, this does kind of create a trade off with the fact that you do sign up for a longer period of time. So it is about a, a three month commitment. Um, but we're hoping that this flexible schedule can work for people. You know, if one or two days of the course are missed, we can always give people homework to catch up and work with them. So um, yeah, we just really wanted to make this course kind of accessible and flexible and work for most people's schedules. And um, I guess once we run the course once, we'll have the feedback to tweak it and make it even better. So the course is going to be hosted out of the Mission Creek Eco Center, which is a uh, museum slash multi-purpose learning facility located just outside of the city center of Kelowna, so it's really accessible. And the downstairs area is a perfect classroom for a permaculture course. Um, it's a nice big space that has a projector and lots of tables and chairs and a chalkboard and a kitchen. So it's gonna be really comfy for us to kind of have that as our home base. And just outside of this space is a food forest garden that was designed by one of the teachers who's gonna be co-teaching in this course. Um, and just beyond that is the Mission Creek Park. So when we do our lessons about ecology and forests, we're gonna have you know a forest classroom right outside our doors. So we just thought that would be the perfect location for the course. So if you want more information about the course, um, feel free to get in touch directly with me. You can do that through the Permaculture Kelowna Facebook group. Um, or you can connect with me via my website, lucybardos.net, and I'm super happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, if there's any chance that you'd like to help us spread the word about the course, we would love that. You can do that just by talking to your friends and neighbors, or if you're someone who has a community or business newsletter, you can always post a blurb in there about the course. I'm happy to share one with you. Um, if you live in an area where there's a lot of community boards, you can put up some posters. I can send you a PDF or I can send you um, paper posters as well. And um, yeah, we would just love all hands on deck to help make this project um, go from a dream to a reality. So thank you so much um, for watching and I'll see you on the next Permaculture Perspectives.